One of Toronto's most iconic and beloved cinemas could be closing as soon as this Sunday as a nine month negotiation over the lease renewal breaks down between tenant and landlord. On social media, Review Cinema making the shock announcement that the Review Film Society, which has run the 112-year-old theatre for 17 years, did not secure a renewal for the commercial lease, which expires Sunday. The landlord saved this building and saved this cinema back in 2006 when the building uh, was sold. He came out of the woodworks and bought it with the intention of keeping it open as a cinema. And we feel that we've been good partners over 17 years to maintain that and to grow it and to see it be successful. You know, it's an old building. That's it, as simple as that. Okay, and, and they have to go, the board, dev, they've screwed up, they've had it 17 years, and they've screwed up and they've gone. Both parties speaking with City News Friday afternoon, telling me they agree on things like a rent increase to $15,000 a month and what responsibilities fall under who. For example, in this case, the tenant has been responsible for most of the maintenance, including to the historic facade. Daniel Mullen, now 96, owns the building with his wife and told us he believes the board hasn't upheld its end of the bargain, saying the building has fallen into disrepair and he wants to take over operation of the theater, not close it. Every time we sign the, uh, the, uh, lease. the lease, they never carry out. And then, and then I say the board members last time, but well, they're not with us now. So for 17 years, I believe we've signed it four times, they change. So that was their problem. We're going to do it. Now we will sign this agreement now and then they'll take off. Meanwhile, Grant Oyston, chair of the Review Film Society, acknowledges repairs are needed, but says they're scheduled and the board has been investing into maintaining systems like the HVAC. You know, when you look at your own board, if suddenly now everybody wants to look and see what's how the board operates, are you going to feel that it's going to hold up to scrutiny? Absolutely, yeah. The, the board of directors uh, of the Review Film Society is certainly one of the strongest boards I've been involved with. They come from a wide range of backgrounds, from film and arts through to nonprofit management, through to finance and law. And, and it's certainly there has been turnover. It's a volunteer board, so there has been turnover over the years, but we've done our best to provide continuity for him. Toronto Mayor Olivia Chow reacting to the news Friday afternoon. Um, I hope they do come to a uh, successful conclusion. Try again. I know it didn't work last time, but maybe if they try again, it's possible. A court injunction has now been filed by Review Film Society. That paperwork arriving with Mullen during our interview. Mullen telling us if he takes control of theatre operations, the roughly 20 staff would be able to keep their jobs. While the board, however, claims it owns interior fixtures like the projector, point of sale and sound and ticketing systems. The Review Cinema is Toronto's oldest movie theatre still in use. On Roncesvalles, David Zura, City News.